I converted the Sabosh spindle back to universal motor mode and added this little feedback probe. This allows me to run this closed loop. I uh, also replaced all the shunt motor hardware here and this is a super PID. Uh, with this I get closed loop control over the spindle and uh, hopefully it'll keep the RPMs rather than getting bogged down with load. Are some interesting things to note here. First, the RPMs do hold pretty steady as long as the cut parameters don't change. At the beginning of a cut, the RPMs drop down to about 4750. That's about 5% of the setting. And I do wonder how low that would drop for an even heavier cut. My test does not stress the power range of the spindle. The load bar only ever goes up to about 33%. And it also never goes below 25%, even when the spindle is not cutting. Thus, the load bar is definitely not a power indicator. It probably indicates the firing angle of the triac, and one has to be very careful of diminishing returns past the halfway point. My kilowatt seems to indicate roughly 170 watts of extra power usage while cutting. Combined with the low triac duty cycle, this indicates that I can probably double or triple the cutting load, as long as the bearings can handle it. <laughs> 